Welcome to the ILostMyJob.com video podcast, providing information and resources for your job transition. First, Outlook News with Scott Combs. Researchers from North Carolina State University have identified a tipping point for national debt, the point at which national debt levels begin to have an adverse effect on economic growth. The findings could influence economic policy discussions globally and will be distributed at the upcoming meeting of the International Monetary Fund and World Bank Group. According to Dr. Mehmet Kaner, professor of economics at NC State, if you exceed the tipping point, the amount of debt will have a linear relationship to declines in economic growth. The more debt you have, the slower your GDP will grow. The United States has not exceeded its tipping point of 77% yet. During the sampling period of 1980 to 2008, U.S. debt was 61% of GDP. Naturally, the way a country handles its debt has an effect on the way individuals will plan their careers and set job expectations. If you're interested, the study is called Finding the Tipping Point, When Sovereign Debt Turns Bad. The Occupational Outlook Handbook, published by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, is a nationally recognized source of career information designed to provide valuable assistance to individuals making decisions about their future work lives. For hundreds of different types of jobs, such as teacher, lawyer, and nurse, the Occupational Outlook Handbook tells you about the training and education needed, earnings expected, job prospects, what workers do on the job, and working conditions. In addition, the handbook gives you job search tips, links to information about the job market in each state, and more. Intrigued? I thought you might be. Visit bls.gov slash OCO. You can use the website to find out about a specific occupation or topic. Use the search box to look for something specific to you. Browse through listings using the occupations links on the left side of each page. And, or, for listing of all occupations in alphabetical order, Go to the A to Z index and select a letter. The website all by itself is a great tool, but you can also order a hard or softbound copy of the handbook, perhaps as a Christmas gift or something. The Labor Department is reporting the number of newly laid off workers filing applications for unemployment benefits unexpectedly surged last week after having fallen sharply in the previous week. The gain dampened hopes about how quickly the labor market may improve this year. But things may not be as gloomy as they seem. The rolling four-week average for claims dipped by 1,500, near the lows reached at the end of last year. The average is considered a more stable indicator because it smooths out the week-to-week volatility. 